Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we have a brand new 2024 Grand Design Reflection. It's the 324 MBS with the mid bunk. Couple small new changes on this model here, so we'll point those out. We'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside, and we'll see what you think. Again, I am in sales here at Bullion, so write my number down early so you can shoot me a call, shoot me a text with any questions that you have on this unit. It is 218. 740-4964. Let me know how I can help. We'll get you started here. We are next to 53, the highway here, so just kind of bear with me while we get around the outside. There's a little bit of road noise, but kind of want to start up front. Grand design. I was throwing the fiberglass front cap on here. You got your pass-through or the front bay storage with your battery disconnect and your solar controller, all that good stuff in here. I believe this is new. They have prepped now for the Furion uh, side cameras. So that'll be nice for you guys. The propane tanks are gonna live on the side. So you got two 30 pound bottles on there. We're gonna fill those. We're gonna throw a brand new battery on board for you. All part of the deal here at Bullion. No hidden fees. Family owned business since 1954. We're here to help you guys. This unit does have the four point electric auto level. So push a button, walk away. You're gonna have the two up front here, and then you're gonna have two back behind the axles as well. Also getting hit with the uh, Furion on-demand hot water tank. So as long as you're not taking scorching hot showers, that should be able to last here for you. So a tankless on-demand hot water heater. Couple big slides on here. I want you to notice if you can see this slide, here's your mid bunk. So it's a really deep, uh, bunk slide gives you a lot of extra space. Maybe if we get around this side, you can kind of see how much more that slides out than this main living room slide here. So we'll show you that on the inside. Out back here, you do have your spot to tuck your sewer hose right down there. On the back, you are prepped for a backup camera right up top. You also all set up to tow if you got a small trailer or a small boat that you want to bring with your campsite. You're all set to do that along with the ladder that gets you up to the walkable roof. Check your seals, make sure everything's going on uh, right up on top. Rack and pinion slide on the main box here in the front. Kind of get you around. You got solid steps on this unit. Let me pull this out. They got the new big grab handle that comes all the way down to the steps. So no more having to take two steps up to grab a handle. This is all the way on the ground. I'm standing on the ground and grab those. Grab the new grab handle. That's pretty pretty unique. You got the CRE 3000 suspension, aluminum rims. Those look really nice. ABS inside those guys for your brake system. Also, Grand Design has been adding a leash latch for your best friend. So hook your buddy up so they're not chasing little squirrels like mine do. Get this great outdoor kitchen space right under the awning. The awning has a nice LED strip. You got speakers outside. Maybe you don't have speakers outside. I don't see any. Huh. Well, bring your favorite speaker set, Bluetooth speaker set, bring that out here and bump all your tunes. You got your mini fridge outside, a couple beverages. And then I really like you got this nice flat top uh, grill. Pulls a good distance away from the camper here for you. You also have a nice prep shelf with some plug-ins back there, a nice light. Notice that that's all metal, so you're not going to get any rot, mold, um, anything going on if you do get any moisture on that on the inside. So I really like that. You can almost see this um, thermal foil wrap kind of too, so kind of help keep that insulated in that bay as well for you. All these doors are held up by magnets, slam latch baggage doors, so that's going to be really great. Uh, with this grill outside, they do give you a nice spot for power and cable. So if you wanted to maybe hook up like a TV or a small TV on a swing arm to have that come out and turn this into a really nice entertainment space, that's really a good um, option there. And then also 
you do have this spray port tucked outside as well to kind of spray off any of your dishes the kids the dogs anything like that spray off the stairs before they go in also you got the Lippert uh, screen defender so again if you got any dogs or little kids it's gonna be really nice to have that so it's not pushing through that mesh screen or ripping that through really nice um, protection on that as well for you guys with these stairs they are on a hydraulic lift if you can see that right there but look at this they just hold themselves up you can do this with one hand nice easy stair assist lift there for you as well with the mo ride or the step above excuse me so let's get you inside right as you walk into the coach this is where your mid bunk section is going to be so you just walk on the door right in here they throw a nice big uh, bed down on the bottom with a window there the top bunk is on a little strut so you can pop that far away and kind of give you a lot more head space if you need an extra sleeper then you do have another window up on top too so windows on both some really nice storage under and then you do have like this really nice smaller desk space um, with overhead cabinets as well for the kids tuck all their favorite games all their favorite devices in here usb hookups power cable spot for a tv it is uh got ac in here it's got heat in here and then you got another window up top so bringing a lot of natural light really opens this space up you got a couple entry doors, so if you want to leave this door open while you're in the living room, keep an eye on the kids, you can do that. And like I said, door right as they come in so they can come right into their space. You got a little longer hallway up to the bedroom, so it kind of gives you, again, extra space in between you and the kids. As you're walking up here, you got your Compass Connect, so all your control systems. This is Bluetoothable, so you can Bluetooth to this with your phone and run a lot of systems, check everything out. You got your battery monitor here. But you got all your systems right as you walk in, which is nice. Nice window that opens up in the hallway, again, to bring some more ventilation and some light in. Good space in this bathroom. Nice porcelain toilet down here. Good space in the shower. Um, here's one of those new features. Let's see if we can get it. Instead of the twist latch, just kind of like pull this down and just move it to open your vent. I think that's going to be really great. I've seen some vents that do have the twist that sometimes maybe in some higher winds or something, if that catches it, it'll open that up where I feel like this is maybe a better mechanism to, to hold it instead of just the twist or unloose where it loosens up. So we'll see how that goes up, but notice that's a little new. And then a nice medicine cabinet. Um, in the shower, instead of giving the skylight, so I know some of you taller folks like that, but they do give you a nice little light in here. So again, maybe at night, you just wanna turn that light on, give you a little more light in the shower. Um, that's something that's new too. Good sink space. Little spot under the sink to maybe throw a small garbage can. Got your countertop with plugs. Little medicine cabinet. And then a nice little towel hanger in here. So really good sized bathroom for this coach. Up in the main bedroom, you're gonna have a queen bed in here. Nightstands on both sides. You got a nice little overhead kind of bookshelf or catch all with USB chargers up there. So maybe tuck your phones. You also do have plugs here. So maybe you have a CPAP machine or something that can fit right there with your plugs. And then you do have storage under both sides and that's gonna be on both sides of the bed. Nice little reading lights in here. Let's see where these buttons are on the side. So nice little reading lights in here for you. And then you do have that push puck light that's above both of you as well. Storage to either side. And then this overhead storage, then this does pass through all three of these doors. So if you do have some longer items, you can definitely fit them in there, which is going to be great. We have opted into the second AC option on this unit here. So you got your second AC unit up in the bedroom. We've also added the solar panel upgrade. So we got a 370 watts worth of solar up on the roof, which is going to be awesome. You got your own thermostat right in here for that one. And then you do have your 
hanging storage, wardrobe storage in here. This does have a nice light. Uh, you can set it, turn it off like we have it now. I can turn it on all the time or I can put it on motion. So three different settings on that. So whatever style works for you guys the best. You got that going on. Pocket door here in the bedroom. So just gonna slide that. We'll bring it down now into the main living space. And then main living space, you're going to have, like I said, another AC. So here's your thermostat right as you walk in the door. You also have a max air fan controller. That's going to be right here for you as well. A lot of great under lighting under the island. A lot of plug-ins. So you got a plug-in on this side and then another one right over here on the other side of the island. Solid surface countertops. You got this rollover sink cover uh, slash drying rack. So it's really great. A lot of really nice storage here in the kitchen as well. So again, nice spot for a garbage can under there. Instead, they give you a garbage can. So I spoke too early. Garbage can right here for you. So look at all that extra space on the counter that's not taking up the garbage can. 16 cubic foot fridge freezer in here. Really nice three burner cooktop with a cast iron tops to them so really residential feel pretty decent sized oven in here a lot of storage on the sides you do got an electric fireplace so you're gonna have some nice free heat if you're plugged into the campsite um, you got electric heat coming out of there look at the size of that storage drawer under the TV up above the TV a little more storage uh, a nice plug-in in here, so any devices, and then you can run your wires right down through here to plug it into your TV. JBL sound system in here. And then another side of nice storage. There's going to be that max air fan right above the kitchen. It does have a rain sensor on it, so you get this plugged in, starts raining, the vent will close for you, so really like that. Pretty unique, different layout here with the back. Usually there's a couch that spans across the back. You know, maybe a couple theater seats here and a dinette table here. But what Grand Design decided to do was give you a really big pantry. Give you the three-seater recliner. The two on the ends here do have heat and massage in them. So that's going to be really nice for you. If it's just two of you guys and you got multiple beverages, drop this middle section down. You got cup holders on both sides. If the whole crew is in here and you need more space, just flip that up and you're back to the three-seater. Like I said, all three of those are reclined, which is going to be great. Nice big U-shaped dinette back here. Space on the floor in front of it. So if you have the big crew, you want to bring in a couple extra chairs to fit more people around this table, you can really do that. These are set up with a quick release, like bike, uh, bike seat style. So just kind of quick release those, drop this down, turns it into another sleeper. That's what these cushions here are for. Depends on what kind of games you're playing. You know, if you need to sit this way, you know, and lay your cards out. However it is, sitting side to side, kind of spread them out like that. You bring the family in, you can just twist this table back. So really versatile, really cool design with that as well. Notice all these windows on the sides, the back. They all open up for cross ventilation and then you get a lot of great views with those as well. I also want to point out too, there are some dimmer switches in here. So you got a dimmer switch up top here. We'll kind of run some of the stuff, give you that kind of customized lighting um, again for how you guys camp. So all the doors again, pocket door in both both the doors on the bunk room are pocket doors, so kids aren't going to be swinging those open as somebody's coming down the stairs and running into them. That's going to be really nice. So there you have it, the 324 MBS from Grand Design. This is here. It is available. Uh, again, my name is Kyle Damon here at Bullion RV. I'd love to work with you. If you guys have any questions, please shoot me a text, shoot me a call, 218-740-4964. Thank you so much, and if you haven't yet, 
you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We just reached 16,000 subscribers, so we're really crushing it. Um, just a year ago, we were around 14, so we're really doing what we can to get these out here. So we really hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and giving us a like really helps us out. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.